He will step up and care for you deeply when you do this. If you'd like a man to actually start caring about your heart, taking care of you, taking initiative, pursuing and chasing you in ways that would shock you, and you're tired of a man being wishy-washy, feeling like he's only putting in a little bit of effort into the relationship, he's not really caring, maybe he's dating other women, losing interest, pulling away, then you definitely want to listen to these tips. I'm Brody Boyd, if you don't know me already, and for over 20 years combined with my wife, Antia, we've been helping thousands of successful women all over the world to get a loving, long-term, and committed relationship. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, a man is going to want to provide plans for a woman that he cares about. If he is feeling a deep, strong sense of masculine, feminine polarity, care for your heart, he's going to want to step up and plan things with you. Plan dates, plan trips, plan your relationship plan things that you're doing in your life, your family, your home, growing. And if he's not planning those things, that, that means that polarity is off. So how do you inspire a man to want to start planning things and taking care of you and leading in the relationship? Well, you have to step back and enter your magnetic feminine polarity. So one of the top ways to do that is if you feel he is not taking a, uh, the leadership, you want to make sure first off that you are not taking the leadership. Planning and organizing are masculine activities. That is putting you into your masculine. You're taking the masculine role in the relationship if you are doing any of those things. Planning, structuring, organizing things, or organizing events, activities. Of course, if a man is asking you for help with something, if he is requesting you to help with that, if he's asking for your pins on, opinions on things, that's fine because he's still able to take the lead and take that masculine role in your dynamic. But if you're having to take the masculine role in that dynamic, for one, you're never going to be able to inspire a man to cherish and devote himself to you because he's not able to take that role. And it's just like in a dance. In a dance, you can only have one person at any time leading and one person following in the dance, which makes the dance enjoyable for both parties. Ideally, a man is leading for your pleasure. He's leading in the relationship. He's moving things forward. He's initiating. He's asking you out. He's asking you for a phone number. He's opening the door for you. He's buying you dinner. He's doing all those things the traditional masculine activities that are making you feel safe, cherished, and cared for by him. And if he's not, then that's how you inspire him this, to step up. So the first thing you have to do is make sure you are not taking those roles. Anytime you are giving to a man also, I'll add this on, because anytime you're giving to a man, you are in your masculine. Anytime he is giving to you, he is in his masculine. And when you are receiving, you are in the feminine. Giving is masculine, feminine is receiving. So you want to make sure that you're also not giving him all the information, giving him all the things he that you think he needs to plan out the trip or to plan out the date or to plan out the activities or the day that you're going to be spending together. So that's the first thing is stop taking the lead yourself. Stop being in the masculine if you want a man to take that role for you and to take care of you in that way. Now, secondly, after you've made sure you're not doing that, now you inspire him to take lead and uh, and do it what makes you happy. So the first thing is, if he is planning things, this doesn't mean that you're not speaking up, you're not doing anything, you're just going along with his direction. Because when a man is leading you in a dance, it's for your pleasure and for his pleasure. Primarily for your pleasure. He Men men are um, men feel the, the best about themselves and the best in a relationship when they are able to make the woman they are with happy and they see visibly that she is happy and she is pleased in the relationship. So if you're not pleased, you have to let him know that as well so that he can correct and and make you happy, make you uh, getting back into pleasure. So if he's making plans and he shares those plans with you and you're not happy with them, you need to speak up. You need to share that in a feminine way, in the right way. You don't want to penetrate him energetically or whack him over the head or uh, blame him and say, like, why did you make this stupid decision? Why did you plan this? I, You know, I hate sushi. I hate going out to the roller skating rink. It's the worst thing. There's always these little kids running around and screaming. Whatever it is that you're not happy about, you want to share it instead in a feminine way. So you would say something like this. May I share something with you? Or may I share something I'm feeling with you? And he would say, sure. And you'd say, I don't like sushi. <laughs> and then he'd be able to say, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, you know, there's also an Italian restaurant next to that place. We can go there instead. Do you like Italian? And you'd be like, yeah, I love Italian. Um, he's like, okay, let's do that. And you'd say, thank you so much. That sounds amazing. Thank you so much. Or feels great. That feels great. 
so you've rewarded him also with appreciation now he's got he gets to feel actually better than before because now he's been able to solve the problem you presented him with a problem you shared your emotions he was able to fix the problem now he feels great now he's taking that masculine initiative he's investing into the relationship he's able to adjust and he was never feeling attacked blamed or criticized in that process so that's the thing that so that's the the steps involved with this you don't plan you let him plan he's inspired to plan by you being in your feminine he will plan things if you're not happy with it you have to share your emotions behind it and say when you did this thing when you when you set it up this way it made me feel sad you want to do that in a feminine way again you want to share your emotions primarily i feel anxiety why do you feel anxiety because i don't know what the i don't know how we're going to make that work getting up to san francisco in two hours when it's a three-hour drive and i'm not sure what to do and he'll be able to say oh oh let me go check on it oh ac actually yeah i forgot about that okay we're gonna have to do something else um you know thanks for sharing um so you're not telling him you made a mistake you're wrong you're telling him how you feel and the impact it has and the problem that exists in a feminine way now he gets to make an adjustment and he feels great about it so that's another example now lastly if he is not stepping up if he's not making any plans you want to share how that impacts you emotionally as well so you would say something like may i share something with you and he'll say sure and say i'm feeling a bit sad or i'm feeling sad and he'll say why do you feel sad because you haven't asked me out yet and i'm not sure why and if it's something i did wrong and i don't know what to do so that's an example if a man hasn't asked you out yet he hasn't made any plans you have a connection with him and you want to vulnerably share that you feel sad that he hasn't asked you out yet you're doing it in a way where you're not attacking him but you're letting him know how you feel so you're speaking up to your your self-worth your value by speaking up and sharing but you're not blaming him or if you have a plan for a trip that's coming up and he hasn't made those plans yet or he hasn't told you about the plans you would share that as well may i share something with you sure i feel anxiety why do you feel anxiety because we only have a week until our trip and i don't know i still don't know what the plan is for that or what how i should prepare and i'm not sure what to do and so you let it sit with him and now he gets to feel the impact of that oh shoot yeah i made a mistake i should have got that planned already i need to get i need to get on top of that and if he has any level of care for your heart at all he's going to want to step up and fix it because now he feels like he's doing it out of his own volition in this whole process you're not telling him what to do you're not saying you need to do this and why don't we have a plan and you haven't asked me out and i don't like sushi and i don't like this instead you're sharing vulnerably your feelings and then he gets to ask why or he gets to say why are you feeling that way you get to share what the problem is and usually you do it in a vulnerable way you could even say things like a part of me feels afraid or i feel uh, I'm, I'm not sure i'm telling myself a story that you don't care and you haven't um and that you don't want to make a plan and i don't know what to do and now he's not feeling attacked because you're sharing it vulnerably you're sharing it in a way where he can receive it and hear it without feeling like you're trying to control him you're not even trying to get anything from him you're being completely detached from the outcome because the feminine is about the process the masculine is about the outcome you're being completely detached and now he gets to step up rise to the occasion and meet those desires that you have or help solve the problem that you have or help ease the painful emotions that you may be feeling if he has any level of care for you now the last caveat i'll give is if you do this consistently with him sharing in this way and he's consistently not stepping up that's when you need to detach and move on set a boundary with yourself and say i need to take a break or i need to get some space or i i you may not even need to say anything you just leave you just move on with your life start dating other people keep dating other people keep moving on keep opening up your life up to better opportunities because that's a man who doesn't care and you don't want to subject yourself as a high value woman to the to a relationship or even the leadership of a man who doesn't value or care about your heart and how your heart is feeling in the process he needs to be leading you for your pleasure for his pleasure and for your pleasure so that you can receive that leadership in a good way and not um just not just complying with what he wants and not just uh, being a doormat and not speaking up and not saying anything so hope this was helpful much love if you'd really like to learn the secrets to have a man chase devote and crave you long term and all the other aspects that go into this i highly recommend taking our free feminine polarity quiz by going to femininepolarity.com or you can click on the link in the description or comments below this training much love hope this was helpful and i'll talk to you again
very soon. Bye-bye.